in order for a slow arts movement to happen, arts organizations would need to stop thinking exclusively about how to build their own patron bases and would need to think about a larger idea, really, which is how do we together join a movement which has to do with um, increasing appreciation for, participation in, you know, the arts, and by that, you know, we mean embracing, helping people develop their creativity and all of these other ideas, right? I believe that there are some executive directors who, and, and artistic directors who absolutely are there mentally and could lead a movement like this. Um, but uh, it might be that indeed um, it will take getting to a crisis point for, for some, for most maybe, to go this way. One thing that I find encouraging, um, the, the foundation has recently been started, has recently um, made a planning grant to something called Project Audience, which is um, aimed at uh, collaborative strategies among arts organizations to um, foster relationships um, with art, you know, in, in individual communities. So, um, kind of uh, a next generation, if you will, arts and culture calendar, right? If right now we have calendars which basically put a lot of information in one place, what's the next step to that for a community, for arts organizations and others to collaborate together to think about in Seattle, in Chicago, in, you know, Boise, Idaho, um, how do we how do we help our community uh, connect more deeply to the arts, right? The fact that we have a lot of our organizations that are interested in being part of this project, I mean hundreds, um, I think is a really good sign. We did a presentation at the NAMP conference and um, the response was really enthusiastic and, I, and everyone seems to understand that this is this may result in increased ticket sales. I mean, you know, the logic is, you know, if you're doing this well, that you're going to have more people showing up. But um, ultimately, the goal is relation, relational as opposed to transactional, I think. And people seem to be getting that. I think that they are understanding um, the limits of short-term thinking about just getting people in the door and selling tickets to them. There, I think they're beginning to understand that there are things they can't do on their own. Um, one of those things is increase demand for the arts, increase appreciation, help an entire community or the individuals in a community uh, develop their capacities to more meaningfully engage with art. A single arts organization cannot do this. A single arts organization can't help you develop your aesthetic, right? So. I think that they, I think they're, they get this. They're, they are, the marketers and the artistic directors of these organizations, I believe, get this um, on a fundamental level. The next step, however, of being willing to change practices, um, I think, you know, this will take some time.